Hey what is going on guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing a sort of review of um, one of my favourite centre attacking midfielders I've used in FIFA 16 so far. So as you can see um, the player I'm going to be reviewing is Lucas Perez team of the season. Um, I'm playing him in a 4-3-1-2 formation with uh, Conor Plianka and Gareth Bale just in front of him and Iniesta team of the season Bruno and Modric um, just sitting behind him. So yeah as you can see from his statistics he has scored 8 goals in 12 games for me um, and has also got 4 assists. As you can see from his stats as well on his card, um, 84 pace, 88 dribbling, 89 shooting, 86 passing and 80 physical. So he's got insane stats this guy um, and I picked him up for 46k as well which is crazy cheap for a player like of, the, of his ability basically. This is probably the best, one of the best players, I've, one of the best team of the season players that I've used um, on FIFA so far actually in my opinion as you can see his stats are crazy um, he's got really good shooting and he's very fast as well his dribbling feels crazy in game as you'll see from some of the clips in a minute um, he's also fairly strong I'd say as well um, he's got that 80 physical he's not the tallest of players with 5, five foot 11 but um, he does manage to win headers and um, and sort of hold players off the ball as well which is pretty useful um, as you can see he's only got me 4 assists but um, it feels like he's always part of moves going forward, if you know what I mean. So he's always like the one making the important pass through. Um, and he's just basically always in the right position. I'd say that's one of his main strengths as well as the ones on his card um, is his attacking positioning. He's like one of those players that is always in the right position for you. Which is probably why he's also got me 8 goals in 12 games which is very good for a centre attacking midfielder. Um, He's also got 4 star skill moves which is very useful because I know a lot of people like to have that sort of 4 star skill move benchmark um, for their attacking players just so that they have lots of options when going forward you know to, to do skills and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, really good player in my opinion. Um, the only downside I'd say to this guy is, so I don't. some people may not mind this at all but his 3 star weak foot obviously isn't great because it's 3 stars. Um, and he's also left footed which is kind of weird because um, I'm used to shooting like and taking long shots with right footed players and hitting it like a cross goal if you know what I mean so it's kind of weird sometimes taking long shots with a player who's stronger on their left foot um, but that might be just be the way I play or something Some it might be something that other people don't sort of find a problem at all if you know what I mean um, but yeah that's probably one of the only downsides to this card so um as you can see I play him in this 4-3-1-2 formation and he plays very well for me. Um, I play him with player instructions, I don't actually have any player instructions on him. I mean you could have him in like a uh, stay forward if you want him to just always stay forward and not come back on the defence. Or even just put him on um, free roam if you want him to, uh, to be a bit more free going forward. Because I think he'd definitely be a good player to sort of just be given a free role. Um, because of his pace and stuff so he'd be able to get in behind and and do all that all the stuff that you'd want your centre attacking mid to do while going forward basically. Um, in terms of formations you, I'd say you could also probably play this guy in a 4-3-3 false 9 as the centre forward. Um, I think that would work pretty well just because you know his passing is very good and um, I reckon he'd supply those left winger and right winger very well um, and also he's got a crazy long shot as you'll see. Um, from some of the clips in a minute he scores a really good goal one of them uh, he takes first time puts it into the top right corner and yeah overall this is a really really good player in my opinion uh, in a great league as well and one of my favorite center attacking midfielders I have used in the game so far definitely a player you should try out and overall I'd give him a rating of 9.5 out of 10 just because I'd say he's probably the perfect center attacking midfielder the only just the one thing as I said that let him down is that his left foot is his preferred foot and I usually prefer to use players with right foot just because I'm used to taking long shots with with players you know who have a stronger right foot and this guy's weak foot isn't fantastic I wouldn't say um, I mean it's all right one on one with the keeper but if you want to take long shots with his right foot um, it's not great I don't think you'll often score with it um, but yeah that's just my opinion so yeah overall 9.5 out of 10 definitely try and pick this guy up though for 46k I got him for uh, which is an absolute bargain in my opinion 
So yeah, enjoy the video clips. I'll just basically be showing you some of the assists and um, and basically goals that he's scored for me. Um, and yeah, that's today's video, guys. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new around here. And I will see you in the next video.